So right now our app looks terrible. We don't have any actual layouts, so we have to copy and paste JavaScript and CSS into every single web page. And in this video, we're going to make layouts because layouts are going to make it so that every page has a nav bar and every page has a footer and styling so that it doesn't look as bad as it looks right now. So first thing that we're gonna do is we need to go into our palm file and you need to add this nz.net all track theme leaf because this is what is going to allow us to have layouts in our app. So if you haven't already, go ahead and add this dependency to the palm.xml file if you want to have layouts. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go inside of our templates and we're going to create a layout file. So we're gonna go into here and we're just going to call this uh, layout and it'll pretty much be our master layout. So we're gonna go into here, we're going to have layout. Then what we're going to do is we're going to set this up so that it can actually recognize it as a layout. So we're gonna go up here, we've already got our doc type. Uh, next thing that we need to do is we need to add thyme leaf. So we're gonna go XMLNS is going to equal to TH. So we'll have TH up here, and this is going to be HTTP. And I can go ahead and copy this from the actual XMLNS right here. And I'm also going to correct the misspelling. These, these are actually misspelled up here. So we're gonna go here, thymeleaf.org, and then we're gonna go ahead and copy and paste it into our layout file. The next thing that we need to do is we need to actually declare that this is the master layout or this is the layout file. Okay, so we'll go XML. So XMLNS is equal to layout. And this is going to be HTTP slash slash www.alltrack.net. Dot nz and then it'll be thyme leaf and this is going to be layout so x m n x m l n s just like this okay so that looks good so next thing that we're going to do is we are going to go into here and we are going to copy and paste in the actual bootstrap icon link we need to be able to get our icons for this bootstrap theme and this is where we are going to get those okay so the next is we're going to actually have a link but this link is going to be a link expression to an actual static file we could include the regular bootstrap theme but in this case we are going to get our actual styles from the css and the way that we do that is we go into here, we set up a link expression and we're gonna have CSS. So we'll have css.styles.css. Then we will go into here and we will have rel is equal to style sheet and we should be good to go on that one. And then the last one is for our actual title. What we're gonna have is the actual layout provides us with a template so that we don't have to copy and paste everything. So it'll be layout title pattern is equal to content title. So we'll have content title. And then here we will have the actual layout title. So we'll have here and then we'll say layout title. So we'll say layout title. And then here we can actually pass the name of the website. So it's gonna be run group and it will have the title of the actual website followed by the title of the actual clubs list. So that is looking good. Now let's go ahead and start taking out a lot of these and actually put our nav bar from our clubs list into our layout. So I'm gonna bring my layout over here. I'm gonna collapse this in. So here, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take get this entire navigation bar. Go ahead, copy it, and I'm going to get this out right here. So we'll have here. Then we're going to put this right below the head and I'm going to name this run group. Go ahead and change some of these. I'm gonna change this to find clubs, find events, just to make it look a little bit better. So we'll go find events. And this one, we'll just call this directory, just to make it look a little bit better until we can add something else in there. And go ahead, delete this. Then what we can do is we can have this one be a welcome so we'll just call this welcome then we can go in here and call this one register and we can call this one log out just so we can have these buttons ready okay so that looks good now what we need to do is we need to go over here and we need to add what we plan on placing in between these actual text so we're going to call this one layout 
call this fragment and we'll just call this body. So that looks good. And that's where that is going to be injected. Next thing that we can do here, we have our company. We can call this runners near you and we'll call this runners found in your area, just like that. And this is going to be the actual content that's going to be displayed within our body. And we can take this right here, go ahead, copy and paste it below the body so that, I don't know, it looks, it looks good that way, I think. Here, we're gonna get the footer and we're also going to get these tags as well too. So I'm gonna go footer, script, and the body. So that looks good. We, we're not gonna have the body. So we'll go down here and we'll paste this right below the actual sec, just like that. Get rid of this footer. We don't need the script tag anymore. Go ahead and get rid of this. So next we need to go up to our actual HTML. So we have our thyme leaf right here. Now we need to declare the actual layout that we're going to use for the clubs list. So we'll go here and what we will have is we're gonna, going to have our layout. So we'll have X M N X M L N S dot T dot layout. So we'll say dot layout. And here is where we'll have the alt track. So I'm going to go up here and copy and paste this over. So we're going to go over to here, copy and paste this over. We need to have the same exact thing to let it know that it is a layout. So go into here and then we will also declare our layout with this word called layout decorator. So we'll go here, we'll say decorate and this will be our layout file just like this and the last thing that we need to do is we need to go to our section right here where our actual page content is in our clubs list and we need to actually add the fragment that we want to inject into our layout so we're going to go layout so we go layout and we go fragment is equal to body and the body is going to be the same that we actually put in the layout so we'll go here we have our layout fragment we have our body and this is where the actual fragment is going to be injected into our application let's go ahead and run this and let's make sure that everything that we have is working correctly so we'll go here go down to localhost 8080.clubs and if you look here we've got our footer we've got let's build something together We've got all of our styles. We've got a sweet looking nav bar up here. We are ready to go. We are ready to continue on because now we have a sweet looking application. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.